Hafede Guam, Guahusi Joanna Delphin, Guinea Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Office. And thank you for joining us for another segment of Island History. Each year in March, we celebrate Tomorrow Month, or Mesh Tomorrow. Today we'll be meeting with Mr. Joseph Cameron, the President of the Department of Chamorro Affairs, who will speak to us about what it means to be Chamorro and what it means to celebrate Chamorro Month. So with us today is Mr. Joseph Cameron, the President of the Department of Chamorro Affairs. Mr. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us. Or should I say, Sidzu Asmaasi. Sidzu Asmaasi, buen provetsu, and thank you for having me. So what can you tell us, um, a little, give us a little bit of history on, on Mesh Chamorro. What is Chamorro Month all about? Why do we celebrate it? Actually, we started uh, with just one day out of the year many years ago, uh, and then it moved towards one week and then legislation moved it to a whole month for which we are practicing nowadays. There's a lot of talk about why not celebrate tomorrow every day of the year. Do you have an answer for that? Of course. There's a lot of things that embody the spirit and the culture of the tomorrow. It's a community that needs to embody that. So there's a lot of people who have a cultural resurgence on what it is to be tomorrow. Uh, a lot of folks are placing a lot of emphasis on language, and rightfully so, that's a beautiful thing because we don't want our language to be extinct. For as long as one person speaks tomorrow, the linguist worldwide will say it's not extinct. We have the tomorrow language competitions, kind of like the challenge ball, and that's going to be happening within all God Guam agencies. <laughs> Question for Latin. What are the types of things that people can look forward to during like tomorrow month? We're incorporating that whole opportunity of the fishing derby. Uh, we're also looking at a um, a derby with the Department of Agriculture for a pig derby. Oh, what can you say about the Chamorro spirit and the perseverance that Chamorros have to keep our culture alive? There's a one word in Chamorro that I cannot express to you in many words in English. It's called inafamaulik. To put it plainly, getting along with each other, uh, having that respect and dignity for humankind. And I will say this, the tomorrows, no matter what has happened in the past that has created any negative, negative impact to their lifestyle and their culture, they're very forgiving people. But don't let that fool you. We are forgiving, but we also need to have our voices heard. The legislature, they're looking at ways to create public policy that will advance anything that deals with who we are and how we want to move forward as Chamorros. Even the whole idea of self-governance. Why is it important for us to, you know, retain our culture and pass this on, the, our culture, our heritage and our history to future generations? Every country, no matter what part of the world you're from, if you don't have a connect to who, what, where, when, and why, you are who you are as a nation, as a culture, then you're going to have a total disconnect when you're trying to express yourself in that particular culture to others who don't know you. We need to stand up and embrace any part of this culture that would allow us to really tell the story of the Chamorro perspective because it's the Chamorro spirit, the culture, the heritage, the language has to be put into play by those who hold the blood of Chamorro blood and that we need to start telling our story. Oh, oh.